hello everybody it's Amy welcome back to my channel today mama Pam and I are in Allegan Michigan at the Allegan antique market we have not been able to go to the first two shows but we are here so I'm excited to see what we may find today let's go Look at all the critters and the Dalmatian Brights are fun. I'm going with a little deer in there. Oh, look at all the look at all the dawn the dawn dolls. It's a Barbie clothes skipper case. It's nice. Oh, oh, it's for the whole thing for the doll. All the clothes that are in here in the case for a hundred. I do like this Elsie the cow advertising. For cold mornings, hot cereal and Borden's thick rich cream have 58 on it. A little miss no name. Wow, I haven't seen one of her in a long time. $60 is not a bad price for her. Look at the panda clock. His eyes move back and forth. That's awesome. 45 This is a unique way to display Barbie clothes. Tacked to a board. There's the uh, Fisher Price Circus set. Looks like a lot of the pieces are there still. Got $1.95 on it. Oh my gosh, look at this box of ornaments. Oh man, these are like the teardrop kind too. Those are really cool. Look at the snooty pooda pillow. <laughs> I kind of love that. It's $12. It's a Merry Mushroom Shakers. Mom's been looking for mushroom stuff for our antique show at $8. Yeah, she's definitely gonna pick those up. Well, we're at Sandy's booth and she always brings amazing Christmas stuff. Check out these Holt Howard glittery angel ornaments. I have never seen these before. So yeah, we're definitely gonna get those. I'm gonna hand these to you. A big, nice ceramic tree. Look at the angel topper on the top. I've never seen a topper like that. 125. That's a big tree. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, look at the cute little. Is that a nesting doll in there? Made in Russia. Oh, little Flemish box with bells on it. That's really different, isn't it? I wish it was hinged though, because I like to, you know, make those arrangements with the postcard and stuff in there. I wish it was a hinge one. Like it may be a little better. But anyway, this is a little little snowman nesting dolls. Well, there's just how many there are in there. Oh, there's a beady. Oh, look at, oh my gosh, it goes even smaller. I have to ask Sandy how much she wants for these because I don't see a price. But I think we're going to get those too. Those are darn cute. I cannot believe that I found some 12 millimeter bulbs. So absolutely, we're gonna get those. No, Sandy brought a whole bunch of millinery flowers. Oh goodness. Well, I'm gonna dig through here, figure out if I'm gonna take any of this home with me. Oh my gosh. I love all the turquoise stuff. Really pretty. Look at these glasses. A giant poodle tray. That's so cool. It's a really hard to find Edward Mobley squeak with the fabric ears. Well, it was out in the... It's wet. Her ears are soaked, but it's so hard to find them with the ears. I have no idea how much... Uh, and the Betty by eyes. Oh, these are just the painted on kind of eyes. I would have to fix the one I yeah I don't know who, how much it is. I love this hall pottery with the butterflies on it. Nice pieces. This is such a cute display. How much is that doggy in the window on the record player? But look at the dogs in the window. Look at this. We're just going to take it all in. This amazing, oh my gosh, tree. That is so cool. 
Oh gosh, look at all the children's hankies. Oh my word. So cute. Oh, look at Dinky. Oh gosh. Cute. Lots of those stuck ones. I really like that one. She's really cute. I also like the little, the little cleaning day lammies. It's pretty cute. Um, it's just the prices are a little bit out of where I need them to be. The match strikers. These are really cool. I think maybe I've seen one of these ever. Really, really neat. This is so adorable. It's a bank. Oh my goodness. There is so much owl ephemera here. It's crazy. I mean, I really like this piece. It's embossed. It's a little birthday. But look at that. I mean, if you're a Harry Potter fan, doesn't it look like Hogwarts in the back? It's only $3. I'm going to get that one, but we're going to go through and pick out some more because these are really, like, I, I mean, I've not seen this much owl ephemera anywhere. Oh my gosh. The fun, like, dream pet. He's attached. It's $22.50. Gosh, that is so cute. $65. Little picnic basket. The snail. Fun paperweights. I like the swirly in that one. Wow. Look at look at all of this cuteness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Look at the little Joseph. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are Joseph little birdies. We'll get those. What else do we have? This little pixie guy. Yeah, I'm not really digging him so much. But oh my gosh. Look at all the cuties. These are little Joseph owls. We'll get those too. Look at all of them. The Robert Simmons deer. My gosh, I haven't seen those in forever. Little Hagen Renneker minis. Oh my gosh. Meow meow. Cutest little cats. Oh. So cute. The Vantelligen Huggy. Little caterpillars. Oh my word. There's another Robert Simmons. Beautiful. The little aviator. He's so cute. Oh, meow meow. Miss Pris. 45 is out of my price range for her, unfortunately. So we're gonna leave her. There's a Yukako skunk that's missing the fur. Happy days. He's 10. And look at all the flamingos. Wow, these are not something that I come across. These are all Hagen Renneker. Very rarely do I see any of these figurines. Look at the pig. Look at her eyelashes. These are awesome to see those. Oh, look at all the Joseph mice. Cute. Oh, so cute. Look at the one on the little mushroom and the ladybug. Love those. Look at all the Christmas stuff. Meow. Where's Pinocchio? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for bigger plastic bells to craft with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a lot of Christmas stuff in here. Mrs. Claus. Mm -hmm. These are fun. Oh, 
little pink angel babe. I'll get her. She's cute. It's a Christmas mouse. I will also get that. Best wishes for good health. What are those? Calendar. Oh, calendars. Tablecloth. Locked goodness. Deer pick. Tags, seals. Any catalogs in there, Mom? No. That is a cool box. No. Okay. Well, she's got a lot more inside. Christmas seals. Tags. Oh, look at all this. Bigger tags. my pile down here. Mm. Oh, the little tiny puppy dog. That's cute. Mm. Meow meow. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, look at all the tags. So much fun. Sheets back here. Cute. Not a lot of those. Ooh, look at the pink. Pink Christmas. We got those. Probably. Look at the deer. Okay. Well, that's my pile so far. Look at this gigantic vacuum form snowman. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. He's 250. Look at all the chalkware. And all the cubes. I love the cubies with the glasses. Oh my goodness. Look at all the little penny dolls. And here's some old Germany cubies. Um, $50 on those. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? It's the whole set. I love the chalkware. So much fun. The little tin litho canister set. That's awesome splatterware hamper they've marked it down to 50 bucks look at the rumples i don't know how much they are i'm gonna have to ask and some adorable snowmen christmas cards we're gonna get all of those this beautiful chenille wow it looks like it's a pretty small one 85 is what they have on it but i really like the colors Czechoslovakia little wall pocket bird. Some pretty pieces here. Early fun. One ten. Swordfish. Little 
decoupage purse. Those are fun. The Kitchtastic plastic mailbox with the pixie climbing up. 22. All right, well, we certainly had a fun time shopping at the Allegan Antique Market. I know that I picked some things up at the show that I was not able to film, so I will be tacking on a haul to the end of the video. But now we are stopping into the Saugatuck Antique Pavilion in Douglas, Michigan. It's been at least eight months since we have been in here, so let's see if we can find anything to take home with us today. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these uh, uncut valentines, the anthropomorphic. They are $29.99. I've got some more down here too. Those are way, way cool. Meow meow. Yeah, wow. This booth used to be down the aisle quite a bit and they didn't have this large of a space. So pretty, pretty. 42, I like the captured bubbles in that one, that's fun. 22. Love all the blues. Oh, look at that. Murano. Sparkly. 58. Well, I think I've said this before, but I do craft with the vintage cans. And uh, I found a couple here. And I also found some Elf brand cans, which I've been looking for forever. So I'm going to keep digging through and see which other ones we can find. Oh, a teddy bear and his friends. 1940 copyright. 28.95 is out of my price range, but oh my gosh, how cute. How cute are the pictures in here? Oh, they're going down the slide. Really cute. Look at all the fun jewelry in here. Um, the carved Bakelite in the red here is 125. I always like to film the Bakelite because I just, I don't run across a whole lot of it very often. And they've got some cool pieces in here. I like that blue bracelet. Last thing, oh look at the Scotty dog. 165 on the Scotty dog. The Lucite here in the front is cool too, $29.95. Beautiful case full of wonderful Roseville pottery up here. I do like the apple blossom here. 79 on that. The pine cone. Oh, I love the shape of that. 395. Oh, there's some Weller in there too. I like the water lily. Roseville Atwood. Really nice pieces in here. Some bigger pieces down here at the bottom. This phone cabinet. Look at that inlay in there. It's really cool. The tag on here. Rare. $2.99 it says. Alright, we're all done shopping here at the Sagatuck Antique Pavilion. All I bought in there were the soda cans, which I'm pretty dang happy about, so that's okay. It's always fun to look around in there and see what new stuff has come in. And uh, I definitely will add everything up in the hall at the end, so stick around for that. Thank you so much for flying along with us today. I hope you had fun. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that I either filmed today or that I purchased. Either one will work. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up on your way out. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye! All right, welcome back, you guys. Here is everything that we picked up at the Allegan Antique Market. Not a ton, uh, but I was very happy with the things that I was able to find. I always seem to find a little bit of Christmas up there, of course, which makes my, my Christmas heart happy uh, that I'm able to find. Uh, but there was a brand new vendor there that I'd never seen set up at the show before. Um, with all the Joseph originals. So that was really exciting. Um, and I think she's going to bring more the next month. So I can't wait to see what she brings to the next show. But let's get into the haul uh, because um, there's one thing that is not here out on the bed that I'm going to actually switch over to my table to show you. Uh, but let's get through some of the Christmas stuff first. Um, we're going to start with these because you guys know, if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time or heard me talk about on the live sales, 
how hard it is to find these teeny tiny bulbs. Um, these are 12 millimeter, which are, which are not actually the smallest. 10 millimeter is the smallest size, um, but this is pretty close, but these are the teeny tiny bulbs. I cannot believe that I finally, finally found some. Um, the usual small size, which a lot of people think are the smallest size that exists, are 15 millimeter. And those are fairly common and easy to find, uh, but not these teeny tinies. And I'm so glad that there's variegated colors in here because uh, I was super low on the ones that I have actually had. I did have a viewer send me a couple, but they were all blue. Um, and all red. So it's these other colors that I was super low on. Um, and I do use these sparingly in my crafting um, arrangements. So I'm happy to have a few other colors to play with, um, but I'm always going to look for more of those. And I found these at Sandy's booth. So that was really exciting. I can't believe that they were um, originally 39 cents. That makes me giggle. Um, and I also got these from Sandy's booth, the really cute little uh, snowman nesting dolls. So I think I only opened up a few when I was filming at the booth and I definitely didn't get down to the smallest one. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put my pinky nail. Look how tiny, the tiniest little snowman is that's in that set. I cannot believe that that is just totally not missing. Um, but that was really, I love the nesting dolls. Um, they're just, you know, whimsical and a little bit different kind of de decor pieces, but I do like the really specific holiday, uh, inspired ones. So those were fun to find. And these glittertastic angels, um, all Holt Howard. I've never seen these before. Um, but I mean, the glitter is not flaking off of them or anything. They do have little mercury bead hangers um, and halos there up at the top. Uh, and all of them have the whole Howard Goodness foil sticker there on the bottom. So those are fun, really different. Um, Holt Howard did some strange ornaments uh, at the tail end of the 60s into the 70s. So I suspect that that is probably the time frame that those are from, but they're all in really nice shape. And um, these, uh, the little flocked mice, so both of these things will be something that I'm keeping uh, to do crafty arrangements with. I love the little pink angel <laughs> with her fluffy hair and these mice. Uh, the Christmas mice, I always look for these. I don't think I've ever come across this one that's playing the trombone. I don't think I've ever come across that one before. Um, but I, even down to the little plume on his hat, I love, love those. So from that same booth, um, if you guys remember, I picked up some little cellophane packets of package toppers, like little tags and seals and stuff like that. And I know that you're probably curious what was in those. Cause you could see what was on the outside, but you can tell really what else was in there. And I liked what I saw enough on the outside to just pick them up. So I'm gonna switch camera views here and show you what was in those packages. All right, I have laid everything out on my card table. This is the table that sits next to me during live sales where I have all the vintage uh, for the sale. Uh, I don't have anything on the table right now, so I laid everything out and there's multiples of some of the things that are on here, but I'm gonna go um, up down each line. So lots of gift tags um, these ones have a little flocking on the ribbon some poinsettia seals um, so they're all multiples of some of them oh look at that little mouse so cute i love when they do pink with the christmas there's a little puppy dog some bells um, as we go up there's multiple, multiples of some of the tags. And then there's just singles. Um, here's another, this one's a little bit bigger than those other flocked bells, but that's just a single one. There's two uncut sheets of these pink background little seals on here. I love the Santa on there. He's really cute. And then there's some tie on tags. Uh, there's two of these bell kind. Um, these ones are just a little booklet, so they actually open up our blank on the inside. You could write a name in there with the candles. Oh my gosh, these do not peak till Christmas. Meow, meow. 
uh, cats. Those are larger seals. We've got some tie-on snowy scenes, and there's three of these tie-on little Santas. There's just one. Um, I really like that deer snowy scene. There's just one of those. Um, let's go over to some seals. Oh my gosh. Look at that cute little puppy dog. So there's, most of these have multiples um, that were, you know, in different packs, but I did separate them all out. Um, Santa's got some flocking on this one. And these are really cute, the little ornament with the Santa face. Um, and then this is just a single larger seal. I love the style of that Santa. Oh my gosh, can we talk about this deer and the snowman? So, so cute. Um, there's just one of these little trucks and tiny Santa, Santa talking on the phone. Um, so there's just a single one of those. Uh, this really cute little tag with the deer and the cart. Just one of those. This is a larger seal. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. That reminds me so much of the Napco Santa figurines that they have. They have these ermine trim on their hats and everything. Uh, so reminds me of the ceramic Santas. Um, just a single one of that cute little cat. There's some little angel babes. Um, just one of these. Um, there does have applied glitter on the candles. Uh, one of those, one of the presents with the jingle bells. This one's really cute. The little puppy dog at the mailbox. Um, just one of those. Uh, this bell one does have some flocking on the ribbon. There's just one of these uh, very 1940s style tag on that one. This one also is from the 40s, the little foiled Scotty dog. Um, just a couple of these. Oh my gosh, this tag. This is a tie-on tag with the fluffy white kitty in there. So that's everything that was in those little cellophane packages. And I'm going to get some more when we go back to the next show. All right, we're back over here. And I can't resist the vintage greeting cards. Uh, these snowman cards are just all fantastic. Um, this one's got flocked. Um, on the snow people and a little bit of glitter on there as well. This one's got some foiling for uh, the snow people and then this one. Oh gosh these are flocked and glittered in the black. I really love the black incorporated in that one. Just makes makes them pop. Um, two pine cone goobers. I don't think I filmed these guys um, but I always love to find these guys and they have um extra chenille on there like they were meant to be package ties but i love the tiny little lantern on that one and then this really cool piece of um antique owl uh ephemera that whole booth was just i could not decide there was too many pieces of awesome owl ephemera if they're set up again, I might pick out a few more, but I really, I'm going to try and get in here. Um, I really liked it. So it's all embossed and then there's silver foiling on there. It's actually like a little birthday card, but I loved the branches framed out in there. And that scene just so reminds me of Hogwarts from Harry Potter. I don't know if anybody else sees that, but I love that so much. So I'll check out their booth the next time we go. And maybe pick out a few more owls. Um, Hootie Hoo, speaking of owls, that whole booth of Joseph Originals was quite amazing to see. She all she had some other pottery makers, um, ceramic makers that were in there as well. But I love to see all the Josephs. So I picked up the tiny little owls. There are so many of these. And they did do them from miniature all the way up to like planter size and kitchen pieces. So there's a lot of those owls out there and the same thing with the little robins um, there's a whole series of these robins in different sizes doing different things um, there's bluebirds and yellow birds also um, that joseph did for the smaller birdies and i actually have a larger joseph birdie i'm going to be pairing these two with um, so they're a whole little family of birds so i can't wait to see what she brings back to the next show as well and um, from Sandy's booth, uh, she always brings some millinery flowers. So I love to pick up these sort of things because I do craft with these vintage millinery, um, especially these little flocked 
cozy kind, but I like the bigger ones um, to kind of fill in larger spaces. These are some flock little roses, so always look for the fun millinery. And then uh, the Rempel Squeaks, I do love, I, I have a soft spot in my heart for the Rempel Squeaks. Um, these are all from the 40s. Um, a lot of times they get discolored like this. They would be much brighter. Um, actually, the these two I have washed. This one I have not. Um, but you can see they do brighten up just a tad. But they just discolor and fade over time. Um, and a lot of the time they do harden completely or start to warp if you will, as they harden, if they're not stored correctly, but these are all nice and soft. They still have uh, their squeakies, uh, which are the metal kind of squeaks. So I love to look for the, these guys. I just think they're, they're so cute. And then, wow, this might've been the bargain of the day. Um, the 1950s uh, Edward Mobley squeak poodle with the fabric ears. Um, the fabric ear ones, for whatever reason, I don't think that they produced as many. Uh, they did come out the same year, but they have a molded ear uh, one where the, the ears are molded into the squeak. Um, but then they did this version where they have the applied uh, little fur ears. They did do that on a few other squeaks. Um, there's an elephant and a dog also that have uh, little fabric ears like that. But I don't think that they produce as many of that style. And I have never come across one of these in the wild before. Sadly, it doesn't squeak anymore, but um, he, this, she has had a bath. I will say that I spent quite a deal of time cleaning her because she was pretty dirty. And um, she did have like most of one of the eyes completely missing. So um, I have touched up the black on the eyes um, just so she could see a little bit better, right? Um, and I think it makes her face that much cuter to have both of her eyes back. So I have touched up the paint. I don't always do that, um, but most of the eye was completely missing and I just thought it would add a little bit more value to her to have both of her eyes back. Um, she has already sold, uh, but I really, I love her. She's just so, so cute. So that's everything that we picked up at Allegan this time. I can't wait to go back again and see what we will find the next time. You guys make sure and give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It's totally free to subscribe. Um, and I, I so appreciate you guys watching my videos. I love to go shopping and pick up fun vintage and I'm glad that you guys can come along with me. So thank you for that. And you can always check out the community tab here on my channel for upcoming live sales and item previews. If I have not noted that I'm keeping something um, or it's already sold, it is available. So it will be available in an upcoming live sale uh, if it's not something that I'm keeping. And um, I do have a live sale every single Wednesday over on Mother Tucker's Antiques YouTube channel called Fantastic Finds. Jason and I uh, curate a live sale. Uh, we sell the things auction style. And then uh, we do a fun community share after our sale where our viewers and customers send in pictures to us so we can include you guys on the big screen. So come check us out. Say hi in the chat on a Wednesday. We'd love to see you. All right, we're going to end today's video. Thank you guys for sticking around for the haul, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.